So SciSpace Copilot is an interesting AI tool that has been incorporated into SciSpace to help you research more in a better way. So you don't have to be navigating around different tabs, uh, searching or Googling different kind of concepts or ideas. With SciSpace Copilot, you can be able to do everything from summarizing a text to rewriting or prompting it with different kind of questions that has to do with a particular research paper that you're working on to even understanding and explaining equations and concepts, even tables, it goes beyond equation to even tables and even you can explain any given picture or image for you within a particular paper by just highlighting it, it will explain everything for you. So this next level AI, I've done a video about the launching of Microsoft Copilot. I think SciSpace have done a good job in incorporating it into its website or into its research features. So you can have access to the SciSpace Copilot by just coming to your Google and just searching for SciSpace, uh, SciSpace Copilot, and you can see it over here, SciSpace Copilot over here, the first one, or you can come to SciSpace.com. So once you come to a typeset, either you come to SciSpace or you can come to typeset.io, it will all bring you over here. And you brought into this website, so you can see it's your AI research assistant, do hours worth of reading and understanding in minutes. So this feature can do a lot for you, in including highlighting of text, mathematics and tables to get simple explanations, ask follow up questions and get instant answers. It's, it's just simply a new way to, to do research and find relevant papers within your own uh, research articles, research uh, in your own research journey. So if you're a PhD or an undergraduate student or even a master student, you can find this tool exceptionally useful because you have the option to up upload your own PDF document and you can go ahead and use their extension as well. Or you can use available documents from research papers, journal papers, conference papers, even uh, books that are available. So right now you can see these are popular reads. Uh, papers that people read you can see other uh, depending on the trending topics that you are working on um, depending on institutions depending on journal the article type is it a journal is it um, a conference paper or they are about so the first thing i usually recommend people should do is to sign up you can click on sign up over here you have the option to sign up with your google account or if you have an email and password you can just go ahead and sign up it's very easy it's just a step by step i've already signed up with mine so i can just uh, we can just go ahead and let let's explain how to use it so i've already logged in with my own well account okay so the next thing is i'm going to show you how to add the extension to your chrome browser because it's very easy when you add the extension to your google chrome browser so you can come over here you can see the extension and just click and it's a prompt you here to add the size space copilot extension you can just add to chrome follow the same procedure it's just simple and you can just add it for you directly okay you can see you can connect to your account if you have not which i have already done okay so you can go ahead and just uh, connect your account you can see i have just connected mine and if you like you can just come over here to these extensions and you can see size space copilot over here you can pin it in case of quick access you can pin it to the taskbar so you can easily have access to it you can come back to the size space so the next thing we can do is we can search for any paper okay any paper of your choice depending on any topic of you are working on for example i want to search for something on river engineering using flow 3d river engineering reason using flow 3d a random topic that i'm just trying to search you can search for it and the first thing that you see you can see different kind of topics different kind of responses over here different kind of results but then there are lots of filters why i like size space is because there are lots of filters for example you can come to the top over here you can specify that you want only pdf and it's going to filter accordingly and it's going to bring you only pdf documents and you can specify as well that you want only open access because for this tutorial we want to be able to open the the pdf documents so you can have be able to have access to them very easily so you can see we'll be able to have open access and then you can specify the year as well you are you looking for last three years these are much number of journals or articles are you looking for last five years this is how much journals you can find and you can start from a specific year if you want me for example you can say 2021 and to end the year from 2021 to 2022 for example 
and it's going to specify exactly how many papers you are going to get from this range of timing okay once you hit on apply it's going to save the paper as well filter the paper as well to bring in papers that are only within 2021 and 2022 it's up to you and then you can select the item type the article type is it a journal is it a posted content is it a proceeding or is it a book chapter or any other one you can specify otherwise from here okay so let's say we are going for only journal article which we have this much and say apply and it's going to save a filter again to give us that this amount and you can specify also by author which i don't want to put in anything you can specify by institution also if you want to restrict it to a particular selected institution you can go ahead and by topic you can go ahead and and do that as well but you can go ahead and journal and conferences you can specify as well as you so wish and specify for specific you can search for specific conferences or journals if you want but for now i think i'm okay with the filters if you are not okay with the filters you can always clear the filters and you have everything at default so this is the result we have these are much paper how much paper we can get you can just click on any one of them and we should be able to have access to the full um, full text or full journal for example this one we're able to have access to it you can see this is the full article okay so you can see exactly what we are looking for this is an article that contains a lot of text, a lot of equations, and a lot of images that we can easily prompt it to the co-pilot. Once you open an article, you can see this is where the co-pilot comes in uh, by, the, by the right over here. So you could do quite a lot of things. For example, literature survey, you can do practical implications. You can prompt it to highlight or explain. You can highlight any section of the document to explain or summarize the introduction of this paper and it's going to do that summarize the methods used or like explain the results that, that are here you can do that directly or you can come down here you have uh, sample questions for example you can prompt it to explain the abstract of this paper in two lines with just one click it's going to explain the abstract of this paper so you can see we have an abstract to this paper which is this one you can just ask it to explain in two lines and you can see it has just done that for you perfectly and this is the power of copilot the size space copilot it explains the paper the it explains the abstract or you can easily on your own and alternatively select the paper select the abstract as you select the abstract you will be prompted with these options to summarize the abstract or to explain the text you can go ahead and say to explain the text or you can ask it to uh, state related papers you can give you related papers to this okay so let's say we can ask it to explain this text that we've just highlighted or the entire abstract and let's wait and see what it's going to give us and you can see very fast it has given us a clear explanation if you don't understand this abstract you can go ahead and read through this and you can see the explanation if you like it you can go ahead and say you like it or if you don't like it you can go ahead and say you don't like it or you can go ahead and save it to a note if you have a note that you want to save you can save this explanation to a particular note if you have uh, if you are working on a particular note you can just go ahead and say save this to a note and you can see it is taking it to my notes okay and you can see save and it has just saved this to my notes so later on i can say view note if you want and i will be able to see the notes that i have okay this is my explanation that, that i have you can just click and even add more notes okay if you want and you can select uh, filter by highlight that you have done okay so you can close on the note and now you are back to the co-pilot so you can go ahead and prompt it further with other more questions for example you can say results of this paper you can see explain the results of this paper you can it will just give you the results of this paper it's going to explain to you perfectly so you can see the results of this paper has been explained in a very very summarized form you can see very very clearly it's explained that so let's go on and search for other things for example um this image you can just prompt it to explain this image for you so to do that you can come up all the way to the top of the paper over here explain math and table you can just select this you can click on this and what it, this means is to select and drag the cursor up over the area containing formulas, equations, or tables. So, for example, I want you to explain this table, this picture for me. Okay, you can just drag and release it or hit on enter and just give it some seconds to explain to you. Okay, so you can see it has just given you a very simple explanation. The rectangular channel flow cell bin is being shown in figure this, and this is very correct. 
you can ask it further to explain further if you want and next thing we can check we can have different kind of equations for example this equation we can just simply highlight it and ask it to explain for us what it is or what it means what basic concept it is so we can just click here and say x select and highlight the area you want it to explain so let's say i want you to explain this very equation for me so i can just select it and hit on enter or just um just select and you can see it is now reading it and it's going to tell you about this equation and what it is all about you can see how powerful and exceptional this ai tool is wow you can see it has explained everything that has to do with this equation it's this this uh navier stokes reynolds average navier stokes equation okay model that explains this this this, this that's explained everything that needs to be explained or understood as regards this paper you can see it has explained virtually anything you want with just a simple highlight you can see the explanation and another thing that i like about this copilot is that it can explain even acronyms you just highlight any acronym and it's going to explain that to you for example this one i can highlight this acronym console okay and just ask you to explain i just say explain this console uh, console and it's going to give you the full meaning console multiphysics is a numerical software used for calculations in this research paper so it has just tell you that this um, it has just explained to you that this console is a multiphysics numerical model software that it has used uh, that have been used in this paper so let's highlight something something within the paper and then let's see if you can explain to us so let's say for example we highlight this cfd that one is explain cfd so we can say explain this text okay cfd uh, let's see what it's going to say about cfd okay cfd stands for computational fluid dynamics which is it and then it's explained which is a tool for analyzing the behavior of fluids in complex complex geometries you can see how perfect it, it explains the acronym cfd in this case okay so you can ask follow-up questions also if you want um you can see it should find related papers for you and it's going to find related papers related to papers related to this or explain the limitations of this paper it's going to explain the limitations of this paper with just a simple click so to academic students and researchers and research or literature writing or paper or journal paper writing has been made exceptionally easy with this kind of tools okay you can see the limitations of this paper are not explicably mentioned in the in the system in, from, um, in the given information however it is important to note that the results obtained from the mathematical models may not always be perfectly matched the experimental model this is just a brief explanation of the limitation okay so you can go ahead and prompt any kind of paper that you've studied or you've reviewed and you want to find out its limitations you can do that very very easily and nicely from here so let's try some simple tables for example let's highlight this select this and let's try this table all right let's try this table and see if it's going to explain what kind of table is this so you can see it has given us a proper explanation of the table okay this highlighted the provide uh, properties table of properties and their corresponding values for numerical simulations of fluid dynamics fluid dynamics in a rectangular channel electrochemical flow cell okay you can see exactly what it is is exactly what is explained over here so you can see the clear and detailed explanation of this uh, this particular table so this feature or this tool is exceptionally next level and it goes beyond even saying you can analyze images you can analyze equations you can summarize text you can just highlight any portion of the text any portion of the text and you can just ask it to summarize this and it's going to summarize it for you perfectly it can go beyond this and you can even do that in multiple languages you can prompt it to do many many languages for example you can go ahead and change the language you can do that to as many languages as you can you can even do it in hausa or in your local language for example my own local language is hausa here and you can see we can find hausa in this okay so you can do you can do it to many many local languages urdu uzbek you can see many many languages you can just go ahead and prompt it to um, explain in that particular language you can see arabic for example and when you when you highlight a section for example you highlight highlight this section and you can say explain this text and it's going to explain the text in arabic for you that's 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 the main point 
okay explain this text and it's going to explain it in arabic so you can see the explanation in arabic it's being done perfectly so it's all up to you you to know how to use it and what you're going to use it for but for me uh side space i've been using it for some time now to analyze my research papers to help me in writing and to help me in summarizing different kind of content you don't have to do a complete paper review you can ask for some of the key points key terms and it's going to give to you directly you can use the citation generator over here and you can generate um a given citation for a given paper that you're working on directly and you can see so you can use the citation generator and you can search cite based on your web page if it is a web page for example you're working on you can just copy the url and paste over here or if it is a journal article you can copy the article the url or title of the article or if it's a book you can copy the url or title of the book or if it is a, a book chapter also you can copy the details url and title of the book and paste it over here and you're going to generate the citation for you directly so let's give an example of how to use this briefly in this paper okay so assuming i'm going to consider this paper i just select and copy this text can come back here and say it's a journal paper and just paste the title and just hit on enter and it's searching for the paper let's say this is the paper you can easily click to generate the citation for you very nicely and you can see the citation directly it has generated you can just go ahead and copy or you can download it and paste it wherever you want during your write-up so to me this is next level in terms of writing i have used it in many many papers you can see i have used it to analyze this image i've just prompted it to give me an, an explanation of this image and it has just done that to explain this uh this abstract the abstract to this paper and it has just done that and i've used it also to explain this equation in this article I've used to explain this equation in this article and it has explained perfectly what the equation means and what are the key parameters that explain the parameters contained in, in here. So please go ahead and give this extension a try, this copilot a try and see how you can use it to enhance your write-up and how you can enhance your research as a whole as a student. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching if you find any value to this please remember to give this video a thumbs up that means a lot to me and please don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this so i'll see you in my next video